Hi, I'm David Gauthier. I'm here with Ann Workman, the director of the Winchester Public Library. And today we're at the Russian School of Mathematics on Cross Street in Winchester to give our opinion on the math art exhibit. It's math with art, but there really don't seem to be any, any firm guidelines. She kind of allowed them to do what they wanted. So this is going to be an interesting exhibit. It's going to be hard to judge. I think you're right. Okay, let's see what we can see. A Fibonacci spiral, grade K. That gives us pause. Right, so I guess <laughs> she's saying that you see this in nature, like a snail shell and flowers. And oh, it's a nice color tail. and drawings. Yeah, it's very nice. Very nice. Okay. Oh, there's quite a few back here. So all these different points, they created clay representations of each of the points. Really is there a grade on that? What grade the child is in? I don't know. I don't think so. Hmm. Interesting. We're going we're gonna to say it was good, though. Oh, it's good. Let's see what this says. Uh-oh. It's a test. Oh, if Brady boy. is on yard 35 and Gronkowski is on the opposing side, Besides 10 yard line, how many yards does the ball have to travel to get to Gronkowski? Well, we'd have to count, right? 35 to 50 is 15. And down to 10, another 40. So 55, right? I think so. Math is not my strong suit. <laughs> Math is not my strong suit. I don't know. Is it good to have the, the, the judges have to answer questions? Probably not. Not when it comes know. to me. That's for sure. <laughs> Number 84, they just drew a picture. Looks almost. It looks oh, like I bet that's one Albert of the teachers. Einstein. Oh, do you think so? Is I think it one so. of the teachers that work here? It could be. Well, if Albert Einstein works here. Or he's got a mustache. That's what I think it's Einstein. Now, here's another Fibonacci numbers by Joy Daly. So I guess there's different proportions of the spiral, and it gets tighter as it goes in. Apparently, Rohan loves numbers. I think so. Prime yeah. numbers, Sense square number there. series, Lucas numbers. Okay, I never heard of Lucas numbers. A pentagonal number series. This is second grade. Wow. Okay. I, I have to be honest. My daughter is in first grade, and she asked me for help with her math the other day, and I, I couldn't do it. <laughs> No, wait a minute, you're a judge. <laughs> Don't tell anyone how bad I am at math. That's our secret. Math is cool. It says right there. Yeah, I believe it. Did they tell you how to play a hundred percent? No, I think you have to figure it out. <laughs> Who's the tallest? The year I was born, I won $1,000, my brother won $1,000, my mom won $9. How much, more, how much money did we win? Ha, <laughs> 2009, cute. I had nine. So I see what she's done. She's Solve problems to learn all about me. So about me? Oh, I see. Kids so in my class, say, my yeah, height, my grade. How many dolls does she have? Well, you don't know, right? So you mm -hmm. figure out the word problem, and then and then the answer is inside. Out. Forty-one dolls. That's a lot of dolls. Four equals I U. I don't know. I don't know. I U. Well, there's got to be a reason for it. It's got to be a reason. Flag fractions. That's cute. And this one. Oh, we're not there yet. That took some time, huh? Sure. Fractions from a flag. I like that. That's tying geography in with math. That's right. 
Bolivia, Angola, Central African Republic. One out of eight. Yep, definitely. So fractions. Maybe birthday cake. Maybe. Because there's numbers on the top. So I was really impressed at all of the great artwork that the kids came up with. What about you? I was too. All ages, very creative, colorful, and accurate math. Absolutely. As far as we know. As far as we know. And we hope that uh, some of this artwork will be displayed at the library and probably at Wing Camp too. That'll be wonderful. I wonder if anybody else is going to display any pieces. I think Because they they're all winners. I think they will do some at Town Hall as well. That'll be good. Yeah, so if you have a chance, check it out. Russian School of Math is the realest. All the super sick teachers make me speechless. Getting straight A's, it really pays. And that's alright because I'm prudent like a student. RSM, RRSM, Russian School of Math improves. All my brain stems. RSM, RRSM. First R is for radical. Education is so valuable. Can we lot of kids' brains in every state? From K to 12, I learn myself. Get me a solid math foundation, improving the next generation. Yeah, yeah. Learn it up, yo, learn it up. Once a week, I'm chilling in that building. It don't stop. Yeah, yeah. Learn it up, yeah, learn it up. This European curriculum will get to the top. Russian School of Math is the realest. All the super sick teachers make me speechless. Getting straight A's, it really pays. And that's all right because I'm prudent like a student. RSM, RRSM, Russian School of Math improves. All my brain stem. RSM, RRSM, Russian School of Math. Dedicate, dedicate, 
head A lot of mathematics Standardized easy Great for after breezy This is how we do Every single day Passionate teachers make you always say A Yeah, yeah, learn it up Yo, learn it up Once a week I'm chilling in that building No, don't stop Yeah, yeah, learn it up Yeah, learn it up This European curriculum will get me Top. Russian School of Math is the realest. All the super sick teachers make me speechless. Get me straight A's, it really pays. And that's a right because I'm prudent like a student. RSM, RRSM, Russian School of Math improves all my brain stem. RSM, RRSM, Russian School of Math So happiness equals that. Um, and what the individual terms mean, so I'll explain. R, CR is the certain rewards you would get for a certain task. EV is your expected value. And RPE is the difference between what you predict for the value and the actual experimental value. So um, T is your trial number, and Y is something I found quite interesting. So Y is a quantity greater than or equal to zero or less than one, and that is the forgetting factor. So what that means is that it makes events in more recent trials more influential. So from all of this, I get it to be that happiness equals reality minus expectations. So as math and equations and algebra shows us, I think that if we work hard, we should have high expectations. But if we don't put a lot of effort into something, if we have very high expectations, we're just going to make everything worse. So next I'm going to go to genetics. So here is a picture, a graph. Um, and the trait value over time. The blue dashed line represents the mean population trait value, the current value, and the red dashed line represents the mean population trait value for the next generation. 
and because the covariance is positive, you'll see the trait increase over time. So this long equation over here can be written, rewritten as this. which can also be rewritten as this. And what VI is, is the ratio of fitness. And what, so how does this relate to happiness? Well, a lot of the times, um, well, altruism is a component of happiness, a lot of times it seems that if you're altruistic, it doesn't really benefit you. If you're very hungry and you only have one cookie, and you give it to someone else who's hungry, now you don't have any food. But what happens is that, in a society speaking, individuals, a group that has more people who are generous, will make the group increase over time. So it shows in an evolutionary point of view that being generous and being kind to others, um, it makes a difference in the society. Um, next in anatomy, so emotional warmth produces oxytocin, and oxytocin causes the release of a chemical called nitric oxide. And that's really good in making your being heart healthy because it dilates your vessels, blood vessels, so that you don't have any clots. And also, here's an illustration of the vagus nerve. And as you can see, it does a lot of things. And one of those things is prevent inflammation. And compassion, or feeling the suffering of, one, of another person, it actually leads to greater activity in your vagus nerve. And since free radicals and inflammation cause aging, you'll look younger if you're compassionate towards others. And lastly, I have the sociology aspect of happiness. So we always hear one act of kindness is a really good thing. And what happens is if one act of kindness is said by one person, the effects persist over time. And it goes to all these people, then down to all these people, and down here. So behavior spreads in three degrees of separation. And that also shows that if you say something mean or something unkind, that also has a big effect. So I think what we can learn as, as happiness and kindness and altruism is quantified with math and science, that I think everyone can be happy and that does lead to a better life. Thank you. Favorites, I hope you enjoyed viewing my presentation as much as I enjoyed researching and presenting it. I think that math is so so fun and our sem is fun it makes me happy because every time i go to class i learn something new and if i already knew it i learn a new way to look at it